Sexual assault is an outrage. It is a crime. I have no tolerance for this. If we find out somebody's engaging in this stuff, they've got to be held accountable, prosecuted, stripped of their positions, court martial, fired, dishonorably discharged, period. It's not acceptable. It's hard to describe uh, the feelings that you go through when, uh, when you're falsely accused. Basically, it was very difficult uh, to concentrate while I was in training. I was, at times, suicidal. Uh, you want to believe, and as a person that is put on the uniform to protect the concepts of this, this country, that you're innocent and you're proven guilty. In that context, uh, make, receiving those accusations at a service academy, there was really no room for a uh, guilt or innocence call. Most individuals really have a great faith in the system, and so when they hear of uh, allegations and charges being brought against someone, they generally rely on the system for their, uh, their trust, and so they automatically assumed a level of guilt associated with me. From my position as a special victim prosecutor, and one of the, the first that the Army ever had, I had a unique vantage point to understand the policy, the policy that was being pushed down to the lowest level. Decisions that were being made to encourage an increased number of prosecutions, and specifically in order to increase the success rate of those prosecutions. From that experience, I was able to see firsthand exactly where they were headed, and frankly, it scared me. It was something that definitely motivated me when I decided to leave the service to focus my attention and to dedicate myself to taking up the task of defending anyone who would be having the entire weight of the United States service against them which is exactly what is going on right now. And it is a scary time indeed. Uh, with someone who's been accused, especially of something uh, from the military's perspective, you're talking about one individual against the entire system. It's the world against them. It is, it is the most um, evident cycle that I've ever seen of the true David and Goliath. And if anyone would slightly scratch the surface at this kind of an allegation, they would have seen, just as we had, and what we ended up proving in court, in court, was that he was completely innocent. And really, in essence, she provided hope to me that there was going to be an end to this period of life and that it would be resolved in a favorable manner. This is what I do, and this is all that I do. I dedicate myself to staying on top of every detail, every case that comes out, every amendment to every statute, I'm there, I'm studying it. It's the passion and the commitment that I have to ensuring that as a service member, you get the best possible defense.